Hello everyone, welcome back to Geek Disorders web series over HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and jQuery. This is Lavic. I'll be walking you through this series. Today we're going to be going over attribute selectors and how to use them. Um, okay, so uh, the best way to, sh uh, to learn this is for me to show you. It's kind of, uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're targeting a HTML element based on what attribute it has with it. So I'm going to create some paragraphs here. Alright, there we go. And this paragraph, I want to give an attribute, and I'm going to give it a class attribute, and that class is going to be uh, the class red. Alright, and so I'm going to save this, and we'll go up here to my style, and to, uh, to target an attribute, uh, uh, the first way we're going to learn how to do it is we're going to target all elements, okay, with an attribute, and that attribute is going to be class. Alright, so of course, how do we target all elements? It's the asterisk. Okay, and uh, then we we're gonna tar how do we target the elements with class with the attribute class is what we do is we do open uh, bracket here and we put in class okay and then we close our brackets open oops open curly braces close all right and of course I'm gonna turn the color of the text blue this time okay I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna launch in Firefox. Try this one more time. Make sure we got that correct. Yeah. Uh, running Firefox. Well, why is nothing showing up? Oh. <laughs> okay. In order for something to show up, uh, you, you need to actually add content to your paragraph. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to put a P uh, with the class red. There we go. Now we should get something. Let's save and try this one more time. And there we go. We have our uh, text is blue. Okay, so I can go down here, I can add another paragraph just by itself, P with no class, alright. I can go down, I can add me another paragraph and give it the class um, blue, alright. And then P with the class blue. Alright, I, I can give me another paragraph and I can give it an ID equals um, main, RIP with the uh, ID main. Oops. There we go. I, I can run this again. If you notice, P with the class red is blue, and P with the class blue is blue. That's because we didn't target a specific class, we targeted all classes. Okay? All classes on all elements are going to get this uh, CSS property which is blue. The text is going to be blue. Okay, you can see this speed doesn't have a class. This is an ID, so it didn't affect those at all. All right. I could give I could uh, make me a span here and give it the class blue. Span with class blue. All right. And close that. Launch in Firefox. And it affects that also, because remember, it's any element with a class, and this span does have a class, so it affects that. All right, so that that's the first way to do it. We're targeting any element using the asterisk, and then we're targeting a specific attribute. And you know, I could easily change this to say uh, ID, okay? And we have an ID right here, so it should affect that, and it does. Okay, P with uh, ID main is affected. It text is blue, so you can see I I can target any element using the asterisk, and then I can target whatever attribute I want. And since we're targeting any element, then wherever that uh, attribute, whatever the the name of the attribute, whether it's a class, an uh, href, a uh, you know anything, uh, it's going to be affected by whatever properties we put in there. All right, um, how, so. Now let's look at how we target a specific uh, element and then the attribute we want. So th this is pretty easy also. If I want to target uh, uh, any paragraph with a, I'm going to change this back to class. With the class, I do it just like that. P, open bracket, and then the attribute I want to target, and then close bracket. I go ahead and save this, and I run. As you can see, all P's with a class are affected. The spam with a class, it leaves alone. 
Okay, so pretty easy there. Um, now let, let's say I want to uh, target something based off of a attribute value. Okay, so I want to target all P's with a class, but a specific class. I want to target with make sure they have the value red. Okay, and then I'm going to change our color here to red, so it kind of makes more sense. I'm going to save this. I'm going to run it. P with the class red is red. Uh, P with the class blue is not. I right, span with the class blue is not. Our ID is left alone. So that's how you uh, target a. Uh, I, I could easily change that to an asterisk and target everything with a class that equals red. Uh, I could. This attribute could be anything else. If I was doing an input and I have a top. Um, then I could put that in there and it'd be based off of what the top equals. Uh, if I had like a um, uh, A element, uh, an anchor element, and I wanted to target all anchor elements with a href, and then I wanted that href to be a, have a specific value like geekdisorder.com, I could do that too. All right, so this, uh, I just wanted to kind of cover that. Uh, uh, tribute selectors, they're mostly used with uh, JavaScript, not so much when you're just coding regular. Uh, HTML and CSS, but I wanted to go over them in uh, any case. All right, well, this has been Live It with Geek Disorder. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and as always, please subscribe, like, and comment, and we will see y'all next time.